Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative episode of Agri Words and Phrases. In this episode, we are going to talk about the abbreviation PH. Now, what is the meaning of PH? The meaning of PH is power of hydrogen. And what this is essentially saying is the concentration of hydrogen within a, within a particular body. Right? Now, PH is an abbreviation that is commonly used across many different industries. The chemical industry, the food industry, the, the agriculture industry, right? Now, the industry that we are going to focus on today is agriculture. And within agriculture, we are going to focus on soil. So we are going to talk about soil pH, right? Because yes, the soil does require a particular pH for many different reasons. First of all, the pH of the soil has to be at a certain level for certain bacteria and fungi, certain soil microorganisms to feel comfortable, right? Also, the pH of the soil has to be at a certain range for nutrients to move in from the soil to, through the plant roots and into the entire plant. Right, so as you can see, pH within the soil is very, very important. Now, as I said earlier, pH is basically the power of hydrogen. So as it relates to the soil, pH is basically saying the concentration of hydrogen within the soil. It, it numbers from 0 to 14. 0 to 14 and the middle in the middle you have pH 7 which is a neutral pH right the more you go towards after you pass neutral which is 7 going going towards 14 that is basically the alkaline stage now the lower the pH is that is going beyond 7 going towards 1 the lower the pH the more acidic it is or the more acidic your soil will be the higher the pH going towards 14, the more alkaline your soil will be. Let us now talk about the range of a pH that you want your soil to be. It is best to have your pH range between 5.5 and 6.5. Right? That is the pH range that the plant will most optimally take up nutrients from the growing medium. So what I want to do now, I want to show you a pH scale chart that is numbered from 0 to 14, which is basically how the pH scale is numbered. And I want to also show you basically the availability of nutrients based on different pH. So as you can see there, this is nutrient availability by pH, right? And as you can see there, it has the different nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, iron, manganese, boron, copper, zinc, molybdenum. This chart did not number from 1 to 14, right? It numbered from 4 to 9. But nevertheless, it's basically the same concept going towards 14 and the same concept going towards 1. So as you can see, these that you are looking at, these bands, right, it shows you how available the nutrients are within the growing medium, right? And as you can see, what happens is that the thicker the band, look at my pencil, the thicker the band, the more of this nutrient is available, right? The thinner the band, like here, the less this nutrient is available. So, let us look at this now. With a pH of 7.5, we see that molybdenum, right here, calcium, sulfur, and nitrogen is most available. Did you get that? Between pH... 5.5 and 6.5 all of the nutrient elements 
are most available for plant uptake. That is pH 5.5 to 6.5. Okay. What I also want to say to you is that the plant nutrients, they are all available when you look at the different pH. However, you find that some are more available than others. And what, is, what, what happens is that you want your plant to uptake as much nutrient as possible. So you want to ensure that the, 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 your growing medium is basically at a pH that the plant can uptake all the different nutrients in good quantities. Now, let us look at pH 4.5. pH 4.5 here, as you can see, molybdenum is tapering off. Zinc is basically still available in large quantities. Copper is tapering off. Boron is tapering off. Manganese is still available in large quantities. Iron is tapering off. Magnesium is still okay. Calcium is tapering off. Sulfur. You can see it. You can see what I'm talking about. Right? So, what that means is, if your pH is too low, right and you wouldn't want your, your soil your growing medium to be too acidic because your plants might end up show, start showing it might end up start showing either if you are at a ph of of say 4.5 right it might start showing maybe copper deficiency or boron deficiency even though the plant requires these um in in small quantities but the truth is they are even though they want them in small quantities they are still less available here so you find that the plant can can develop a nutrient deficiency you know because of the amount it is pulling on now let us go to a ph of say nine as you can see a ph of nine molybdenum is available in large quantities right zinc is basically flat out right the, the availability has reduced right copper the same boron is basically available in large quantities right manganese is 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 available in large quantities iron iron is not available in large quantities that is reduced magnesium calcium is available sulfur is available in large quantities as well as phosphorus and nitrogen right so your growing medium or your soil you want to ensure that it is at a certain ph range as i said between 5.5 and 6.5 to ensure that most of the nutrients are available for plant uptake because if you find that your ph is out of range you know only some of the nutrients will be available to the plants and then you'll find that you start getting nutrient deficiencies right so i hope you get the drift i hope you understand the ph scale now remember i was talking to you about the base 10 logarithmic scale now from a ph of 7 to a ph of 6 6 is 10 times more concentrated than 7 right if you are moving from ph from ph 6 to ph 5 5 is not 10 times more acidic than ph 6 right it would be it would it would be 10 times 10 right because we already we are already concentrated 10 times from pH 7 to 6 so moving from 6 to 5 it is basically 10 times 10 which is 100 and then moving from 5 to 4 it would be it would be 10 times 100 right so that is how um, the, the, the base 10 logarithmic scale works on the pH scale so the more you go to the lower number right the more acidic your ph gets the more you go to the higher number the more alkaline your ph gets right so this is what the ph scale is all about and also the nutrient availability within the soil as i said you want your range to be between 5.5 and and 6.5 if your ph is out of range your plants will not grow properly because they will not get the required nutrients that they need so it is always as advisable for you to basically when before you do your, your farming or your planting get the ph of your soil and of course if your if your ph is too alkaline and you want to basically bring it down you can use you can use soil acidifier and 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 bring down the ph if your ph is too acid that means that means it's acidic in this range so you basically could add lime right 
to, to bring it back up between this range 5.5 6.5 now as i said if you want your soil test to be done there's a company in jamaica if well if you are from jamaica there is a company in jamaica uh, called Fersan, right there they are they, they sell fertilizer they basically is a company that cater holistically for your crop right uh, nutrition is key plant nutrients are key to plant growth and development and they basically do the soil test for you and tell you what your soil is lacking you know what it needs tell you the ph of your soil and they basically give you advice as well so if you need your soil test to be done just check out this company they'll definitely be interested to do it and again this is not a sponsored video i am just telling you where you can get the information you need and certain things done right so again i hope this information was beneficial to you and if you have any questions or any comments please put them in the comments area and as usual please like the video please like the video please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again in another video bye bye